This is your all power portable power station model R600. In the box is the power pack and in the grab bag in front are your fold out four solar cell panels with backstops so you can set them up and all the uh, cables you need to connect it. So I'm going to unpack it and demo it. Show what a great system this is. So you can see how well this comes packed. This is your manual. Sits on top of your warranty. And then all of this is a heavy, heavy, thick foam padding that protects what's inside, which is da -da, your power pack. Look at that. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's pretty nice, huh? And this is the, open the compartment up and you have your connectors, your different kind of power cables. And the front, well there's no front, but on the side, look at that. You've got different sockets to plug in your equipment once this thing is charged, either by solar, which is 12 volt, or by plugging it into house. Here's a light here, here's a power panel, here's different kind of connectors, so you can use a standard USB or the lightning, whatever. So we're, this is a 100, and 100 watt system out of this outlet right here. It's amazing how efficient batteries have become. They're lighter and smaller for the same amount of power. Typical of the beautiful packaging. It's this beautiful zip bag which has your 110 volt universal power cord that plugs in the back of the machine and plugs in your wall. And you can see right out of the box, it's charged at 67%. Zero watts in, zero watts out. When I plug something in, you'll see the watts going out. So I plugged in a 20-inch household box fan. Pushed the green button, waited a couple seconds. And it took a couple seconds for the output to show up. It's doing 59 watts consumption and you've got two hour use of that fan with that system. That's pretty interesting. So on the side is the hatch and you can um, plug your wall in here. You plug your solar panel in here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and plug the wall in and start charging it up so I can max it out. And there's the plug. Plug it in and give it a couple seconds to cycle up. And there it goes. He's winding up now. So it's 259 watts input, 313. Settle down, 67% charge. May take 39 minutes to fully charge it. I believe that's what it's reading here. But it's a nice readout, huh? Beautiful. Let's see, I think there's a light here. Yep. Ooh, that's a bright light, a blinking light. <laughs> and that turns it off. Let's turn it back on again. So she's slowly charging away here. That's great. So inside this uh, solar bag, you've got all kinds of connectors. These are snap connectors that connect to the battery, to the charger. This is... Uh, more connectors. This one here connects my solar panel to the charger and these are universal outlets so this is a pretty good setup. These are the cables. This goes into your solar panels and this charges, plugs into your charger. It's pretty foolproof. You can't mix them up. It's pretty easy to do. So unzipping this panel back here and you see the cable that hooks the power system. And you can see there's only one way to plug them in. The next step is unsnap the uh, closures and you open up your solar panel and set it up. You see in the back a little velcro piece. These are your legs with the support. So this is the back of the solar panel. This keeps it pointed to the sun. And that's the entire system deployed. It's got your four panels. I just have a little bit of sun hitting it because I'm 
in the shade so I'm not getting full sun but even now if I look at the meter it's charging 5 watts it's a great portable system for camping go to the beach in case you have a storm power outage you got to run your phones and blowers this is a great system buy it now